guys. So I've had a few requests on how to program the new Skywalker speed controller, um, which has the reverse function now. So a few things to take note. <clears throat> on the previous version, you could set your throttle range on, on a stick that had centered position like this. It would work. But because this new speed controller doesn't support that, it would only work on a stick that you have full travel. You could make it work on this, but you'd have to adjust all your endpoints up quite su su uh, quite substantially in order for it to register from top to middle. Okay, so it would need to work on this channel ideally. Uh, by default, the reverse function isn't active. You have to activate it in its programming mode. So we're obviously going to use channel three for the main line in your signal. We go, go to any spare channel you want to use. Excuse my hands, but I work for a living, I've given up trying to clean them now. So in this case I want my signal wire for reverse to go to channel 5 because I'm going to use that channel for instance. And before I carry on setting it up I need to make sure my remote is set up accordingly. And you could use any spare channel here for reverse. I want a smooth control on reverse. I would use VRA. So I have a nice 0 to 100 kind of thing. If you use a switch, you're going to have 0 to 100 instantly. So you would have to set up your, govern your line there. So what we're going to do, is we're going to go into our menu. And um, set up our aux channels. So we go down to aux channels. Make sure everything's on that you want to use. I want to use channel 5 and I want VRA to be on. So it is on, everything's on. Cancel to save, hold it in. Then we go to our spanner, go to auxiliary channels, and VRA is channel 5, that's what I want. Set correctly, I hold, cancel, and it's saved. Cool, so now I've got, <clears throat> this would be my reverse, this would be my forward. Okay, so now we need to set up our programming to be have the reverse function, which is it doesn't at the moment. And you get your little pamphlet and it tells you we need to be in menu 1 and we need option 4 for linear reverse. And if you've never done this before, you've got to listen for the beeps. So first of all, you need to enter the, mo the programming mode and you would have your stick in the top position. With the obviously power the remote on, put the stick to the top, power the system on. It eventually will make a chime. It'll first beep, 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 and then it'll start a chime that's entering its programming mode. And then you'll start hearing the beeps for the different menus. We want to go to menu one, which is the first beep. So when you hear one first beep, throttle down to confirm that menu. And then we need linear, which is four beeps. We listen for four beeps, and we select that one by moving it up. And that option will then take effect, and then you can turn the system off and then your reverse would be active. And then, so you go about doing it with all the other options that you want to program. So let's do that. Let's program our speed controller. So I want to turn the system on, put my throttle on the top position. Now listen for the chime and listen for the beeps if you can. So we're gonna put that on. Chime. First beep, we're in the menu. Two beeps, three, four. So now I've selected reverse, turn the system off. Okay, now, if I, now that we've set everything up, let's calibrate our throttle range. Put this into zero position, because now we've got reverse. We've got now two zero points. Keep in mind, your speed controller won't boot if this is sitting somewhere in the in the throttle range right so that must be in reverse i mean zero zero and we're going to now boot the speed controller we put the stick into top position because we want to calibrate throttle range top position and you'll hear a beep beep and then you move it down and then it calibrates that throttle range and then it'll initialize my four cells and then the system should boot so let's do that beep beep Four cells, systems initialized, our throttle range is calibrated, put forward, and now we've got reverse. Cool. 
Now you don't want, let's face it, if you're, if you're flying a plane, great, your reverse would be great to have a full power, but on a bait boat you don't want to whack it in reverse at 100%, and you're going to get yourself into a bit of trouble, right? So let's adjust that. So we've got our forward. Now keep in mind, like I said, let's have put everything off. If you boot your remote and you had this sitting there, for instance, your system won't boot because you must be on your zero point. You can see it's not going to boot. Okay. So for the guys at foam and say, well, my boat's not starting because you haven't put this back to zero and that's not on zero. Okay, now you need to have neutral on both. Okay. Cool. So let's let's govern. Let's say you had reverse on one of these babies. That'll be 0 to 102 seconds. So we don't want that. We want to go to our endpoints. And we want to, so I've got mine on channel 5 now, right? So you could really adjust here, your low, your start off range you could adjust. But really, I want to just adjust my top range and it'll only be active really once I'm there. So let's get it there. Bring it right down. Okay. I only need a little bit of power in the beginning. That's all I need. You can adjust the, um, this side of the range too if you really wanted to. I'm just sorry, this thing's a bit delayed. Okay, so you could adjust everything. So we've got. So adjust your endpoints as you would like it. Um, and then, uh, yeah, then that's that. You, if you save it, it will then obviously take effect. So let's save it. There we go, set up, forward, reverse, that's what we needed, and that's that, enjoy.